Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today we're gonna to do the top 10 ways to not screw up your straight razor. Number one, don't strop it. I know, I know that sounds ridiculous, right? What I mean is, if you get a properly sharpened straight razor from a properly trained Honemeister who's got experience and you receive it in the mail, use it immediately out of the box. That means if it comes from us or some other good Honemeister out there, He's already, he's already stropped it when he was done, or she. Get it, immediately start using it. If you are new to straight razor shaving, we don't wanna be additioning your ability to strop. We wanna addition his ability to sharpen the edge. So don't strop right away. Use it as is. Number two, don't plink the edge. Every time I have a customer in the lobby at our building, they'll come over and say, oh yeah, straight razor, plink, 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 and I'm like, Thank you. I now have to resharpen that or have my guy Eric resharpen that. Um, the edge on a straight razor is extremely fine. It's finer than a knife. It's finer than, finer than a scalpel even. And when you plink it, you're actually rolling the edge and maybe even po possibly dulling it. Uh, so it has to be touched up on a finishing stone again. So don't do that. It's not telling you anything. It's going to make a plink sound. It's sharp. It's a straight razor. Don't do it. Number three. Trail your edge. If you are gonna strop it throughout your normal use, make sure you trail an edge. And I always go back to this, this analogy I use when I had a customer come to me and said, gosh, Matt, I, I bought all the stuff from you and it's just, it's not working out for me. And, and I said, well, how are you stropping? He said, I'm, I'm stropping, I'm going in, I'm going along the strop. I said, can you show me? And the first thing he did, he grabs his edge and goes, and just cuts right into my strop. And I'm like, well, is your strop cut up at home too? Well, yeah, I was wondering why I was cutting up. It's cut up because you're, you're, you're leading your edge. No, you trail your edge, meaning the edge goes backwards as it goes across your material. So that's what number three is. Trail your edge. Number four, you're not an old time barber. Uh, everyone's got this image of Bugs Bunny cartoons or something, Popeye or whatever, some movie they saw of someone just going And that's what they want to be in their head, I guess. You're not that guy, and that is not a, a real life. You want to make sure you focus on technique and have good strokes back and forth, trailing your edge, a consistent sound, consistent pressure. Speed has nothing to do with it. It's all about technique. So you're not an old time barber. Number five, don't use the sink. You're gonna say, what are you talking about? When I'm, when I'm using my double edge, I, I swish it around. I gotta get the lather off somehow. Don't do that. The uh, chances of you hitting the, the sink faucet with your nice sharp steel blade here is pretty high, number one. And number two, you're just putting a bunch of water all over a piece of carbon steel. All you're doing is inviting rust and, and uh, corrosion to start uh, the process of breaking down your razor. Instead, get a little hand towel and if you have a nice, you know, blob of lather on there, just pull it through. When you're pulling it through the cloth, don't touch the edge all the way. Just kind of hold it up real close and pull nice and parallel and straight and cleanly through. You don't want to mess up your edge. And all the lather will come off. And when you're done, put your towel in the hamper and wash it. Easy. You'll have an official uh, hand towel every time you shave. Or you can, I guess, use it multiple times or whatever you want to do. But uh, a towel is the best way to take care of your edge to not nick it on the faucet. Number six, you're all done with the shave, it's nice and dry, and you're ready to put away? Hold on, you forgot something. You need to strop it, at least on the canvas side, a couple times. Make sure you really, really dry that edge off. It's also ready to go for the next time you want to use it. And don't put any alcohol or barbicide or any other chemicals on this razor. I don't know why people got this in their mind that they have to sanitize it against themselves. <laughs> um, if you use alcohol or barbicide on a product like this, it's carbon steel, all you're doing is you're pulling out all the moisture that's in the carbon steel. All the natural oils that are in there, you're just pulling out by drying it with a product like alcohol or barbicide. Um, instead, 
If you want to sanitize it or you feel like it's really dirty or something, you can always use a detergent on it. But really, if, if you're the only one using it, you don't need to sanitize it. Just drop it, let it air dry, put it away. Number seven, if you aren't going to be using your straight razor for a while, which I define as maybe a week or 10 days, put a light coat of mineral oil on. I have a little jar of mineral oil here, and I'll show you. All you got to do is put a little bit of oil on a... A uh, cotton little swab is totally fine, and you can brush this, kind of again, pushing towards the edge, not away from it, not into the edge, but trailing it like that, and get the whole thing coated, and it's going to be good to go for months. It can be left alone like this. Um, so that's a very important step. People are used to stainless steel silverware, stainless steel knives. They think that you know steel doesn't rust. Steel does rust, especially carbon steel. So oil up your blade. Number eight, storage. After you're done using it, make sure you leave it open to air dry for at least an hour so that you're not gonna artificially rust out the steel by enclosing it into moist scales. Very bad, I've seen it happen all the time. So leave it open, let it air dry. The other major thing for storage, don't put it in a plastic travel case. I know a lot of the Dovos, a lot of other brands come with these cool little plastic travel cases and everyone wants to just tuck it in for the night and put it right in there. Bad idea. Again, if there's any bit of moisture, you now put it in its coffin. You're gonna kill that steel by having it rust out. Instead, you can use a travel case like this. It's open and aired out so that, you know, it's not gonna get too, too uh, damp in there. Lots of air circulation. Use one of these, uh, or again, make sure it's bone, bone dry, and even maybe lightly oiled if you're not gonna use it and you're gonna store it. Number nine, know your limits. I, what I mean by that is know how involved you're gonna be with taking care of this razor. You may just wanna be using it and stropping it and that's it, and you're gonna send it to people like us or other qualified people to sharpen it for you periodically throughout the year. You're probably gonna have to sharpen a straight razor, you know, two, three, four times a year um, so be prepared to send it away. If you are going to get involved with honing it, make sure you have all the re research and all the stones and really practice. That's a whole other topic is, is how to get involved with sharpening. But um, also know your limits with any kind of damage. If it gets dropped or if there's, you start seeing rust forming, know what you're going to be comfortable doing. You know, you may not be comfortable getting out some metal polish and trying to polish this edge because you don't want to cut your finger off. So you want to be aware of that. And if there is a problem, know your limits, send it to someone like us or another company and get it taken care of. Don't let a good straight razor go to shame because you didn't want to take care of it. And number 10, have fun. Uh, but seriously, I, I hear from people that take it so seriously and they, they think that you know, their very first shave is just going to be like this buttery, smooth, you know, video movie experience. Just, oh, it's just, oh, this is just like luxury. It's going to be some work. It's going to be a learning curve. It's going to be some times of saying, gosh, this is really frustrating. Or how does, how do I get this side over here? You know, start easy, start on your cheeks, progressively learn, you know, gain confidence. Don't try to give yourself a BBS three pass shave for your first time. Maybe not even your first month with a straight razor. Take your time, have fun, enjoy. It is a process. It's not an event. And uh, it is a wonderful world. If, if it was easy, everyone else would be doing it. It's going to take some work, guys, but it's worth it. And I'm so happy to share this video today with you guys. Uh, if you have any other questions or any other top 10 tips, number 11, number 12, something I missed, put it below in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. If you do leave a comment, you're interested in to win this, our Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. Thanks so much for watching. Please share this video with anyone who needs to see it. And I'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys.